He raised the dead. He healed the, the, the sick. The lamb walks. They that could not hear, he opened the ears. He opened their eyes. They that could not, could not speak, the, the tongue were bind by spirit. He caused the spirit to lose them so that they can speak again. He can do that. He has the power. He has the mind. He has the ability. He can cause a miracle. It doesn't matter what you're going through. My God is an awesome God. My God is a miracle working God. My God can do everything. All things. Nothing is impossible with that God that we serve. Do I have somebody here that's believing that that God that we serve is able to do that miracle for you? If you believe, shout hallelujah. That's the kind of God we serve. He's a miracle working God. We cannot just say, He's a miracle working God. He is the Alpha. No, you must believe that He's a miracle working God. You must believe that He has the power to heal. You must believe that He can do the impossible. He can change water into wine, He can, he can, he can, he can just walk into the natural things. And cause them, them to become supernatural. That's the kind of God. So if you're losing your job, don't cry. Because God is ready to do a miracle for you. And give you a better God, job. If you're sick, don't cry. Believe God that he's able to heal you. If you're deaf at your ear, believe God that he can just heal you. Many years ago, and you know, I don't like to talk about these things. But sometimes it's good to talk about them. To witness the power of God. This woman was sitting at the watching the television. And the Lord spoke to my heart to say to, to, say to the people that were watching. If you're there, do something you, you would like to do. Believe that God will give you a power. And she was a lame woman. And she stood up and started walking. I don't know what you're going through right now. But God can do the impossible for you. God can just bring, give you a breakthrough. God can give you that miracle that you, you need, not tomorrow, right now. Amen. But the only thing that you need is stay faithful. Believe his word. Have a personal relationship with him. And sometimes God doesn't even care. Because some of the people that came to Jesus, they didn't even know Jesus. They just came for the healing. They just came for the breakthrough. They just come for the miracle. But they had something that a lot of us didn't, don't have. They had faith. They had faith. They know that this man called Jesus was able to do exceedingly, abundantly. He's a miracle working God. Most of the miracles that Jesus did were not of the Jewish people. Some of them were of people that we would call secular people. That we would call uh, uh, ungodly people. That in the time of Jesus they would call them dogs. Dogs. D-O-G-S. Dogs. And these people would come to Jesus. But God is not a respecter of person. The only thing that God is looking for, can I find faith in you? Can I find faith? Do you believe that I'm all powerful? Or I'm mindful? I have all the wisdom. I know everything. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am able to open a door that no man can shut. I am able to shut the door that no man can open. He can do that. But will you believe? Will you trust him? 